Following a meeting this afternoon between UEFA and the government described as constructive, there is renewed hope that the FAI's financial crisis may be eased. With debts of almost €70 million, Euro, the FAI is at risk of insolvency and has the, asked the government for a guarantee of some €18 million. Euro. It's a well-worn path for football administrators to government buildings. Today, a high-powered delegation from UEFA, European football's governing body, along with the new chair of the Football Association of Ireland, Roy Barrett, met with government to discuss the financial crisis facing Irish football. But with debts of almost €70 million, Euro, the FAI remains on the brink, its very future still in doubt. Theodore, can I ask you, have you managed to reach a deal with the government? A uh, joint statement would follow. It was a positive, constructive meeting, that's all I can say. Is there any threat to Euro 2020 in Dublin? Uh, Thank you very much. A joint statement would follow. Afterwards, all parties were singing from the same hymn sheet. Do, do you feel the FAI's immediate future is secured at this stage? I'm, I, I'm, what I prefer to say is, is that there was, it was very constructive today and um, I think everybody wants to find uh, the right solutions and that's the path we're on. Irish football once again at a crossroads, still at risk of insolvency or liquidation. We're meeting the Bank of Ireland, the principal creditor, tomorrow, and there's going to be an intensive round of talks in the next few days. We're very encouraged by what's happened. We, we want to make sure that, um, that, that soccer at the grassroots is preserved. We want to make sure that the interests of the staff, uh, who've served the FAI very, very well in the, in, the, in the past and hopefully in the future, are protected as well. It's clear that this FAI crisis is far from over and no bailout will be forthcoming until all parties are satisfied that issues surrounding corporate governance and financial mismanagement are resolved. Tony O'Donoghue, RT News, Leinster House.